preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Today we are going to learn some more prepositions. The day after tomorrow is a holiday. So which is the preposition in the sentence? We can see that it is after. So we can see that after is the preposition in this sentence. Now when we say after, what do we actually mean? We are talking about a day which is later than. So after tomorrow, which means the day that follows tomorrow. So after tells us about a time or something which is happening later than. Meet the principal after the tiffin break. So the preposition in the sentence is after and after is again telling us when we can meet the principal. It is later than. As soon as the tiffin break is over, later than that you can meet the principal. So it is telling us a sequence. As soon as the tiffin is over, then you can meet the principal. Now let's take this example. Spring comes after winter. So the preposition is after. When we say spring comes after winter, what do we mean? We have the winter and then we have the spring. So, we can see that spring comes after winter. What do we mean? Means after the season, we have spring. So, something which comes later on or something which follows an order or a sequence over here. Spring will not come before winter. It will always follow. It comes later on. Winter comes dash spring. So we can say the same thing in a different way. Can we say winter comes after spring? Does winter come after the spring? No, that is not the case. Winter comes before spring. So, the preposition that we will use here is before. We have already seen earlier what after means. Now, we will see what the preposition before means. When we say winter comes before spring, what are we meaning? That something is happening earlier than something. Over here, before spring, we have winter. So winter comes before spring. Before is the preposition in this sentence, which says something is happening earlier than. We can also see that after and before are both prepositions. Now, they are also opposite to each other. After and before. So, that is something that is completely different. So, we can say that they are opposite to each other. I packed my bag before going to school. So, the preposition in the sentence is before now, before is telling us something that we are doing in advance, earlier than. So, before I go to school, what do I do? I pack my bags. That's something that I am doing in advance. So, when we are talking about the preposition before, what do we mean? Something that happens earlier. I met Rebecca before noon. So, the preposition is before now, we can see in this clock that it is 10 past 10. 
when we talk about noon we are talking about a specific time that is 12 noon so i met rebecca earlier than in advance i met her before noon or earlier than noon now let's fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions monday comes dash sunday finish your homework dash going to bed the options are after and before now let's take the first one monday comes dash sunday so when we are talking about the days of the week we have sunday then we have monday so what can we say monday comes something which is coming later on what preposition do we use here we use after monday comes after sunday finish your homework dash going to bed which action do we do first we finish our homework then we go to bed so something is happening later we are going to bed later so what preposition are we going to use we are going to use before finish your homework before going to bed so today we've learned two new prepositions after and before when we talk about after we are talking about something which is happening earlier than when we talk about before we mean something which happens later on and we have also noticed that after and before these two prepositions are opposite to each other there are many other prepositions which we will learn soon you can use after and before in sentences and see if you've understood the correct usage don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now